All right, you two, we in here. So Marky Mark Rubin dropped another little update for X Defiant for the new year. And he went to talk about how they implemented a new party system and they fixed some weird issues with the net code. And if you guys remember from my X Defiant Alpha beta videos, the net code was one of my biggest issues with the game and why I didn't enjoy that beta as much as I could or should have. The net code was a big problem for me. And just how sweaty it was, right? And I said that in all my videos. I got a lot of hate for not being overly positive about X Defiant in my videos. And, you know, I broke it down because the net code was such an issue. Like, I was showing me dying, like, way around corners and shit. Like, dudes, bullets were flying out of their gun. I was behind them, but the bullets were somehow just, like, doing a little... It was, like, wanted out of the wanted movie or some shit, man. The bullets were literally just shooting straight out of their gun. And then zip it around behind them to hit me. Like, it, dude, it was crazy. But then all the sweats, you had these PC K&M nerds doing fucking donuts out there with sniper rifles, just aimbotting everybody. It was, dude, it was crazy. But like I said in those videos, man, I understand what it was. I understand that these betas, they're always sweaty as hell, man. They're, it's the sweatiest of the sweat that are on these betas. You're not going to find too many casuals on a beta like that. Especially with the first time I tried out X Define. I think it was a closed alpha or closed beta. It was closed anyways. You had to sign up for it. You ain't going to find too many casuals in a play test like that. You just, you ain't, man. It's just a pit of sweat. And so it ends up feeling kind of like skill-based matchmaking. You're just going up against the biggest sweat you've ever seen. And you're trying to learn the game. And especially because we didn't have input-based matchmaking in the beta as well, too. These are things that I didn't enjoy. And so I let you guys know that in my videos. Like, this is my first impression. But I also got to wait until we get the game, right? We can't test out this matchmaking. We can't see if skill-based matchmaking has been officially removed. We can't tell if they're telling the truth from just this beta, man. We got to wait until we see the full game. But like I said, even if I hate this game. Even if I hate this game. If this game is a shit, which it's not. But if it's as bad as Modern Warfare 2019 is, I'm still going to support a developer and a studio for this. You see this shit? No skill-based matchmaking in normal playlists. A welcome playlist for all players under level 25 that will have skill-based matchmaking, which is the way it should be, like a boot camp, like a combat training, like Call of Duty used to do. But all other playlists will not have skill-based matchmaking and ranked will have a rank-based matchmaking. Just this alone. Now sprinkle in a little bit of that. You get to choose which inputs you want to play against. How is this not a complete win for all of us who play online first-person shooters in the modern era? Come on, man. Every game is leaning towards this. You got to protect little Billy. You got to protect Timmy. Everybody who's loyal to the game or even remotely decent at the game, you're punished for being decent at the game. We're talking about a game here who's going to keep it organic. A variety in your matches. Every lobby you get into is not going to feel the exact same. There's going to be some variety there. There's going to be people using different weapons. Not everybody's going to be using meta with the exact same tactics and techniques. They're all bunny hopping. They're all head glitching, holding the same lines of sight. You guys know that. You, I don't need to repeat this shit to you guys. You guys see it every time you jump into a lobby out here in these newer Call of Duties and all these other games. You see it for yourselves. It's boring. It's annoying. It's frustrating as fuck. But I can't lie. I'm a little nervous, man. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say... We really appreciate the transparency and communication, but at this point, all we want, the only update we want to see is a release date. I've seen a lot of people already done with this game. They're saying the hype is dead. It's gone. The, too many delays and this and that. I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to let this game fall into the abyss. I know I only have a small channel, but that's why I'm choosing to make a video about this today. I'm not, dude, I have to support a developer like this. X Defiant has potential, man. We got to make sure. I want to see this game kill it out here. We, we need more competition for Call of Duty, even before Microsoft took over. But I'm like, I can't lie, man. I'm nervous. Dude, they're taking way too much time with this. Like I said in a bunch of videos at this point, I feel like I always got to repeat it because if I don't repeat it in every single video that I'm talking about Call of Duty with now Microsoft taking over, 
I feel like if I don't repeat it in every single video, there's always somebody in the comment section correcting me saying it's going to be a while before we see any changes, man. Like I've said in a bunch of videos at this point, it's probably going to be years before we see any significant changes with Call of Duty under Microsoft now. But what if we're wrong? What if Microsoft just goes completely scorched earth with Call of Duty? And they, in a few months time, they go, all right, every Call of Duty on Game Pass, or mostly every Call of Duty on Game Pass, we're going to update the security. We're going to dial back the matchmaker a little bit because Phil Spencer, he's out here on the socials, man. He sees the morale of Call of Duty players who talk a lot about Call of Duty on the socials. He sees the morale of a lot of us with this matchmaking. And I think I heard somewhere anyways where he was saying that he thinks that this type of SBMM is too thick. So let's say he just goes scorch earth in a couple of months and he completely changes the fabric of what Call of Duty has been, especially these last few years and why we're so frustrated and annoyed by it. What if they just completely change the game with Call of Duty in just a couple of months? They dial back all these things that we hate about Call of Duty now. It's hard to imagine X Defiant having a chance against a juggernaut like Call of Duty. Regardless of what we think about Call of Duty now, Call of Duty is still a juggernaut. And if they made those changes and X Defiant is still delayed, even free to play, it's hard to imagine X Defiant being a success. You're like you're looking at Mark and, and Ubisoft and they're just going to have to fold up shop. Like if X Defiant is still delayed and if hypothetically that point came with Call of Duty, yeah, it's, it's really tough to imagine X Defiant surviving out here, man. It's like, wh why would you play X Defiant when you can play Call of Duty, which doesn't have skill-based matchmaking and all these other things that X Defiant was promising you, but you also have kill streaks and you have Warzone and you have this and that. Like, dude, it's tough to imagine. But I think X Defiant right now, X Defiant has a perfect tight little window. They could drop that joint right now or in the next week or in two weeks, I think this is the perfect time for them to drop X Defiant, man. Everybody's a little tired of Call of Duty. Everybody's tired of the bullshit we've been going through with Activision up until this point. Everybody's tired of the matchmaking. A lot of people are tired of playing on the same maps that they played to death over a decade ago. And the couple of new maps we got, well, they kind of suck. I mean, meat is all right. Meat is okay when you don't have a bunch of bitches just literally spawning in your butthole. Like, meat can be... Me could be all right, depending on the spawns and a few other things. But yeah, the new maps, man, they're not really all that great. So, I mean, people are bored of the game. People are sick of the matchmaking. People are sick of bundles over content. All this other nonsense that's been going on with Call of Duty for years. The toxic bullshit that's going on with Call of Duty. This would be like, we're talking about a gem right here, man. This would be the perfect time to drop X Defiant. Dropping it right when people are sick and tired of Call of Duty, they come over to your game. Your game is free to play, so they don't gotta put up any money to try it out. They jump on this game, they fall in love with it, they fall in love with the no skill based matchmaking, they fall in love with the welcome playlist for noobs up until level 25, they fall in love with the input based matchmaking and shit. They fall in love with what you got with similar to gameplay to Call of Duty, and they don't look back at Call of Duty. They stay on your game. Mark, it is time. We need X Defiant, man. We need competition out here. We need this game. Like I've said in a bunch of videos at this point, I think the no kill streaks is always going to hold it back a little bit, but you could still have something here. There is still potential here, man. Yes, we like being rewarded for doing well in the game. You go on a kill streak, you get your kill streaks. That's the beautiful thing about Call of Duty. That's why a lot of people play Call of Duty. But you still got something here, man. We need this game. But that is all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you on that next one.